So, so today I'm on my job parking lot once again. This is like twice in 30 days. Uh, I am getting the Moderma booster. I initially got the Johnson & Johnson, um, but in doing my research, I found that Moderma would be a better fit for me. Um, so my job is giving them out on site. So once again, I'm here on my job parking lot and I will keep you guys abreast as to how it goes. Yeah, I'm sitting at my desk in my office and I took the Moderma shot probably about maybe an hour and a half, two hours ago, and I am like a zombie. Whew. One thing for sure, it makes you sleepy, but outside of that, so far I have not had any other side effects. says welcome to a whole new world of personal discoveries you probably know some of your family history but what you can learn from your dna can make a profound impact on how you see yourself thanks for choosing to learn more about the story of you the ancestry family okay i said that i wasn't going to read it but it's simple it, it tells you to to spit in this tube up to the line uh, the black line on there and then it says replace the funnel with the cap tighten to release the stabilizing fluid shake the tube for at least five seconds place the tube in the collection bag mail in your sample so it's real simple so I don't know that tube looks kind of long I don't know if you can see it so it seems like that's going to be a lot of spit just in case you're interested on how it works. Um, yeah, so you're just spitting in a tube. Let me open it. Just spitting in this tube. In this tube here. Yeah, I have small hands, so I don't know what you could compare this to, but you're spinning from here to here. So I'm going to pay attention to what I'm doing. And uh, yeah. Okay, so it was rather easy. I only had to spin in the tube four times before it was full. Um, so I thought it would take a lot more than that. And then it had this funnel on here so that you wouldn't make uh, a mess when spitting. And after you do that, you're supposed to replace the funnel with this cap. So with this, you're supposed to um, take this cap and screw it on. It says tightly to release the, the fluid in this. So the fluid from here is going into here and that stabilizes the DNA in your saliva. Tight to release the stabilizing fluid. You will know it works when the blue solution from the cap has emptied into the tube. So it appears that it has emptied into the tube. Shake the tube for at least five seconds. Okay, place the tube in the collection bag and then I'm going to mail it off. So this is the box that the uh, wine rack came in um, and it's gonna go in the center here. And um, if it doesn't look right, I'll just take it down, patch the hole and repaint it and send it back. I got it from Bath 
Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay guys, uh, now that I have the third uh, wine rack up, I do like it much better, much, much, much better than the two. Um, yeah, it looks so much better. It gives me, I don't know, it, it's a vibe with two instead of three. Um, so I am going to start a collection. I actually, uh, the majority of this wine I purchased at Aldi. Someone had told me that you can buy wine at Aldi's fairly cheap, just so that I can have something on the wine racks. I did go to Aldi's and purchase um, enough wine bottles to fill in where I did not have any, which was, I only had this one from um, a local winery called Buck Creek. And I had this one from a couple of years ago. I had gotten from my daughters. It's Black Girl Magic Rose Flavored. And my cousin had given me this one for my birthday this year. One of my cousins. Um, the rest of them, oh, I did actually go into um, a local liquor store. And any of them that says um, Stella Rose, I got from the local liquor store. I think I got three bottles. I don't see the other one, but I do plan on um, placing like some type of shelving of some sort up under um, the wine racks. I don't know if it's gonna be shelving or a bar cart. Uh, someone has suggested maybe a bar cart, um, but because of the indention here, I was just thinking of something basic because my kitchen is not very large. It is kind of a a quaint kitchen. So um just want something small, nothing overbearing. I was thinking at first maybe a a a, a server cabinet, uh, but I think that might be overbearing. Just something simple. And I think a piece of wood would just suffice. Put a couple of wine glasses on there and some foliage and it would be good to go. But if anyone has any suggestions, please, please, please uh, put it in the comments below. But yeah, this is what I have going on so far as far as the wine racks. So I'm getting a little bit done at a time. And oh yeah, here's my makeshift coffee stand. Because uh, I, I don't like a lot of uh, appliances or whatnot, uh, whatnots on my countertop. So I did make this makeshift coffee stand. As I told you guys before, I have purchased this from, from at home. And it's actually too small. Um, so I, I think I need something with some drawers in it. Something with storage. Something with storage. Um... I recently purchased this maybe a week or two ago, and um, I was watching another YouTuber. I'm sorry, I forgot her name, but she uh, was placing cinnamon sticks inside of her tea, so I am addicted. I only have two left. I have to go pick up my groceries between 7 and 8 tonight, so this is one of the things that I did add. This right here is ginger. I heard that it is awesome for your digestive system. So I try to remember to shake some of this in my tea or my smoothies whenever I do make a smoothie. And this I got because I'm not a coffee drinker like I used to be. I got the powdered, oops, the powder uh, creamer because I thought it would last much longer than the uh, liquid uh, refrigerated kind. Um, even though my daughters are over here quite often and they are the ones that uh, drink the coffee, I still decided to get the powder creamer. But yeah, so once again, if you guys have any suggestions as to what I should put over here, please do share, um, just so that you can get a quick glance in my kitchen as far as, you know, how it's decorated, may give me an idea as to what um, I should put over there 
under the wine racks. But yeah, my decoration as far as fall is minimum. I have a small pumpkin and an orange tile. And I think that's it in my entire home as far as fall decoration. I might do a little more um, as time goes by. But yeah, please let me know what you think. And just to add, I don't know if you guys knew, uh, but I purchased this table brand new, uh, but I painted the table black um, because the, I just didn't like the color of the table and I thought black would go better with the look that I was going for. And this centerpiece here I got from at home as well. And these chairs, I ordered them offline. Um, I can't remember where I got them from. But yeah, so it did not come together as a set. I did piece it together. I was going for a look and I think I've achieved the look that I was going for. And my curtains I got from TJ Maxx. I think I'm going to change them to a cream white color because again, I do not get a lot of natural lighting in my place. And um, I think it would help brighten up the place. Coming up is a short clip of me fulfilling one of three orders for coffee mugs this week. Um, just another aspect of my life. Manufactured by God is my brand and it was inspired by Psalms 139.14. And again, thank you for watching.